All right, so, ladies and gentlemen of the press, thank you very much for being present with us this morning. As you may be well aware, there was a decision by Mr. Speaker expressing his opinion on Article 97 of the 1992 Constitution. That opinion led to a declaration by him that those members have vacated their seats. Proud to his decision, I had brought to his attention that there was a pending suit at the Supreme Court, which pending suit was to seek certain interpretation of Article 97. In fact, Mr. Speaker himself acknowledged that on the floor of the House. As a result of his decision, the majority caucus expressed a disagreement with his decision and gave a clear indication that the matter will be pursued further at the Supreme Court. So on Friday, Another process was filed by me and the Supreme Court in a unanimous decision determined the matter and ruled, among others, that one, speaker's interpretation of the law was wrongful and that the Supreme Court was staying his decision pending the final determination of the case. In other words, his earlier decision to the effect that those four MPs, that is MP for Formina, MP for Aguna, Aguna West, MP for Suhum, and Amenfi Central had vacated their seat, was nullified, in essence. We are law abiding. We have heard that our colleagues say they disagree with the Supreme Court. They've been using unprintable words on the Supreme Court. On Sunday, the minority leader, my respected colleague, Dr. Forson, led the minority caucus in a press conference whereupon they told Ghanaians that today, they will come and occupy our seats by their own proclamation. MPP, our tradition, is a law-abiding tradition. Our forebearers always use the courts to correct the wrong. Since 1992, our leaders have always used civil advocacy and the courts to ensure that we get the peace that we have today. On top of my head, I can recall the era where we used thumbprint ID cards and we used opaque ballot boxes. All these are things of the past today because of MPP. Today we have a very transparent electoral system because of the advocacy of our forebearers. It's our turn in leadership. The country is hereby informed that we will not give that lawless platform that NDC is seeking. We will not give them that platform. We will not give them that theater they so aggressively seek to disrupt democracy and to destroy our nation. We know there are innocent people out there, innocent Ghanaians going about their business, innocent Ghanaians in the academia, innocent Ghanaians who are struggling to get three square meals on the table for their families. We care about them. We understand that there is politics, but we must do it in a civil manner. We believe that the appropriate thing 
is to quietly yield to them and wait upon Mr. Speaker. After all, the ruling was directed at Parliament and the Speaker, not an individual MP. Yesterday, the belief of the Supreme Court served Parliament of Ghana through the legal directorate. The director of the legal department received the ruling of the court. So, in other words, Mr. Speaker is on constructive notice or maybe I should say actual notice of the ruling of the court. We have to leave it there and respect Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker has been part of our democracy since 1992. He's a senior lawyer. He's practiced in our court. And I believe that even if Mr. Speaker disagrees with the Supreme Court, he knows what to do. Suffice to state, at the risk of being repetitive, that we were not disrespectful of the chair. When the Speaker made this pronouncement and the majority caucus disagreed with Mr. Speaker, we didn't cause commotion here. We left quietly and told Mr. Speaker that the right place to express those grievances will be at the court. So we expect our brothers and our sisters on the NDC minority side to do the needful. But all would be for Mr. Speaker to make a final determination. The nation is looking up to Mr. Speaker. All his years in politics, this is a crucial moment for him to add weight to what we have done to preserve the peace. MPP is for peace. Yes. MPP is for peace. Yes. MPP yes. is for yes. peace yes. of yes. Ghana. Yes. We will not allow anybody to disturb the peace of the country. Yes. It is a notorious fact that we remain the majority caucus of this parliament. You, the media, must add your voice to the advocacy to compel our colleagues to respect the fidelity of the law. I have heard a respected colleague on the other side, Honorable Dr. Ayini, calling on Mr. Speaker to respect the Supreme Court decision. If that is true, then that's a noble call from him. Dr. Ayini is somebody I respect because of his respect for the law. I believe that moderates on the side of NDC will prevail on the hawks in their party to call them to order. So I would want to thank you for being with us. We are leaving this chamber peacefully into our offices. I wait Mr. Speaker's arrival yes. and if he calls leadership and we do pre-sitting discussions, we will take it up from there. But for now, that lawless theater will not share with them because Ghana, Ghana, our country Ghana is bigger than any one individual. So we would want to, at this point, sing our party's anthem to let you know who we are. Colleagues, we are the new, we are the new patriotic party. We are the new, we are the new patriotic party. The elephant is a winner symbol. We have won to save Ghana. The elephant is the winner symbol. We have won.